everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you a few fragrance dupes. So, I did one video before about the Essence Vault, and I recently purchased quite a few from them. So, my original video that I spoke about was a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. So, if you want to see a full review on that perfume, then please check it out on my channel. The perfumes that I'm going to be talking about are dupes for other perfumes. So, if you're into really high end niche brands and you don't want to pay full price for them, this is a good video for you to see what fragrances are like without spending the bigger price tag. I'm going to be showing you my personal opinions on the fragrances that I've bought and a review on the Essence Vaults brand. So one of the first perfumes that I purchased from the Essence Vault is number 34. And this one is most known for Dulce Gabbana Light Blue. Online, Dulce Gabbana Light Blue has been voted one of the top rated sexiest citrus perfumes. So I have actually smelt Dulce Gabbana Light Blue and I was going to purchase it but I just wasn't sure if I liked the perfume enough to buy it myself. I'm someone who's into very sweet scents and obviously this is a very citrus scent. So for me I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase it yet. I came across the Essence Vault because I was looking for a Killian perfume and I've then since gone and bought more perfumes. So I seen that they did Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue and I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to try it. They had a deal on, I think it was buy two, get two half price or buy one, get one free. So I'm going to go through the Dolce and Gabbana notes um, of what the original perfume is. So the main accords are citrus, woody, fresh, fruity, aromatic, musky, powdery and green. And the top notes are lemon apple cedar bow flower middle notes bamboo jasmine white rose base notes cedar musk and amber so let's give it a spray yeah to me this is such a nice citrus perfume it has notes of lemon in there apple you definitely smell the bow flower i get a little bit of jasmine this to me is a very clean scent. It is definitely a sexy scent for a woman. In terms of it being a citrus scent, a lot of sexier scents you find are more woody and they kind of tend to lean more of a sweet kind of um, muskier note. To me, this is definitely a sexy citrus. So a lot of people say that this citrus scent is most known for being a sexy woman scent and I think the DNA really pulls across. To me I get a lot of soft kind of fresh notes from this scent. It's a very clean scent to me but it does hold a little bit of muskiness and then the dry down it does dry down a little bit more woodier. Yeah to me I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, so in terms of being a dupe for Dulce and Gabbana Light Blue I think it's a really good dupe. I think this one pulls off a little bit more soapier than citrus. Um, so if you are looking for a good alternative I would definitely recommend. It's really nice and these are eau de parfums and I've got 100ml. So if you're looking for a clean fresh scent that's also a little bit citrus definitely look into getting this. Next up I have the Essence Vault 143. This one is a dupe for Victor and Rolf Bonbon. When I actually worked in retail, I used to work for a makeup brand in conjunction with perfumes as well. And we actually used to always go through perfumes and sell perfumes to customers. And I always used to wear Victor and Ralph Bonbon so much. I really love Bomb Bomb. It's such a sweet, playful scent. So I was really interested to see if the Essence Vault did a good version of this. So I'm just pulling up the main accords of Victor and Ralph Bomb Bomb. So we have caramel, sweet, citrus, white floral, fruity, woody, amber and powdery. Our top notes are peach, mandarin and orange. Middle notes caramel, orange blossom and jasmine. And base notes are amber, sandalwood, guac wood, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and cedar. This to me is definitely sweet and you get that nice kind of punch of peach at the start. There is a little bit of caramel and orange blossom in this perfume. I personally think the original Victor and Ralph uh, Bomb Bomb is much sweeter than this version. This version you get a lot more peach and orange in the top notes as you first spray it. Whereas Victor and Ralph I feel like you definitely get that sweet caramel. 
So for me, this one wasn't an amazing dupe. I definitely preferred the actual Victor Ralph Balm Balm, but to me, it is close. If you like orange and peach, definitely get this one because you get this straight away when you smell it. So for me, this one was probably not the best dupe, but it's still a really nice orange and peach scent. Next up, we have number three from the Essence Vault, and this is a dupe for Marc Jacobs Decadence. So the main cause of this perfume are woody, fruity, amber, iris, earthy, powdery, sweet, aromatic, warm, spicy and leather. And then we have top notes of plum, saffron, iris, middle notes of oris, bulgarian rose, jasmine, sandback and base notes of amber, vetiver and papyrus. Within this perfume, I've obviously smelled all of the original scents. And to me, decadence is like palmer violets to me. That's what I get from it. So I'm going to spray the Essence Vault version and see what I think. To me, this is more of a citrus note of Decadence. I personally find the Decadence one is more Pima Violets. I just get that scent straight away and that's all I can smell throughout the perfume. This to me is definitely a more of a plum version. I smell the plum straight away and a little bit of saffron. I get that amber note as well. So I definitely think this is a slight dupe. For me, I found the closest dupes were the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and Killian Love Don't Be Shy, which I've previously done a separate video on. The Killian Love Don't Be Shy is a very milky, soft scent. It's definitely got sweetness within it as well. <coughs> I'm sneezing because there's so many perfumes up my nose right now. Um, yeah, so I would personally say the best dupes from the Essence Vault are Killian Love Don't Be Shy and Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I think that the bonbon version is similar, but it's more peach and orange. And I would say that the decadence version is more plum. I don't get palmer violets notes when I smell that, and I know the original decadence is palmer violets to me. And if you're unsure what palmer violets are, they're a sweet. If you've ever smelt them, it's literally what I smell in decadence. So these are the main dupes that I found from Essence Bowl. I'm currently purchasing from a different dupe brand, which I will be bringing to my channel soon. And I currently have one of their perfumes now, and I'm really happy with the scent. So what I would personally say about the Essence Bowl is they're an affordable approach for dupes of perfumes that you're looking for. Although I don't think every single scent is similar, I must say FM fragrances are a really good alternative and the new brands that I'm going to be introducing to my channel are a good alternative too. Essence Vault for me has been an affordable approach to trying new fragrances but I'd say some of the perfumes don't pull off exact to me and that's just my personal opinion. I definitely recommend Dulce & Gabbana Light Blue from them and also Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have and comment down below and if you want to see more videos from me make sure to subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.